What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another Dyslexic Reacts. Today I'm going to be checking out, well, I guess re-reacting to the uh, quarterfinal one, which was between Frosty and Robin. I have watched it before, but my video had issues, so I'm going to re-react and upload that now, as well as check out the uh, judge results for both quarterfinal one and two. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Beatbox. You're Robin. I love your stuff, but it's time to battle. Okay. So I'll go ahead and just start giving my thoughts right up front, talking over it a bit. There may be more talking over this time since I've had more time to think about my thoughts. Um, first off, I don't like that he says, let's battle or infers that he's going to battle Robin in this round because beyond that there's zero battle tech involved in the round. The only thing I could think of is if he's just referencing to the fact that his previous rounds were all very slow and more like soft. I don't know if that's the word I would use. Passive almost. Whereas this is more aggressive, which is more suited for a battle. But let's let let's let uh, the song do some talking for itself. area coming up that I have some thoughts. So it seems like it's building up to a drop. And I know there's a thing where you kind of like do a fake drop, but this right here feels off to me. Something about it doesn't sound right to me. I don't know if it's because it's too long or what, but then when he comes in with the vocals, it gets even weirder for me. Like, I can't even describe, because everything sounds like it's on time. It just sounds weird to me. But I love his like little chuckle there. Has this imposing character that he puts on throughout the entire performance, very dark and angry. But then there, he's like, you can tell he really likes what he's putting out, which is cool to hear and see. So while he wraps up, um, my thoughts on this round, other than the ones I've added, um, originally I was really annoyed that he ended at 30 seconds. Obviously there's still some noise, so it goes on to like 24 seconds, and that's but he really time. ended at 30 seconds. Round and I also two, feel like that Robin. ending dragged Switch. on a bit to get to that point where there okay, were Frosty only 30 seconds this. left. That was a big part in my initial judgment. Uh, when I first watched this, I had Robin winning both rounds by a decent amount. Um, sorry, spoiler. I have him winning the second round. Um, but now that m I've seen more competitors not go to the whole 330 at, or even close, I've realized maybe the extra 30 seconds are purely optional as like a way to give them more time since they're using a new device. Either way, uh, let's stop talking about last round and talk about this one with 30 seconds into it. So I, I love the fact that he's accenting the setting with the actual melody. So he's, or I think that's what that would be called. He's doing the uh, moves and nays while in a barn. Hey Frosty, just for you. I put the auto tune. Hey Frosty, this is how you battle. You can try. To be clear. It makes you sing on a good tune. We run, 
I will say I didn't feel like Frosty singing was bad, but I do know it's one of his weaker points, especially when compared to someone like Robin. It makes you feel like a real looper. And then, nice little jab at the extra devices. Whether or not you agree it was bad, it's still battle damage I like. So I really enjoyed this round from Robin. Um, I like the lyrics. I like the battle part of it. I like the use of panning and his classic harmonies. One negative I have overall is I feel like it's a bit one-dimensional at times. Like, he's obviously layering and adding at Adding a bunch each time, but it's pretty much exclusively adding more and more vocal layers, which to me I like. It sounds great. I love using vocals as an instrument, but when trying to judge, I do see how it would be a negative to have it do pretty much the same thing throughout. I did talk over the beats just now, but you can hear there's the first major change up, I'd say. I like that effect. I like to play a twist or something. I like the choice to not ever do anything over the play my game. gosh i am so sorry guys i never put this full screen i'm just gonna keep going because you know i've if i react to this again i will have already seen these two again 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 and i just want to put something out there for you guys uh even though i've already done a video for this it just didn't get uploaded due to issues um but real quick thoughts uh, I give the first round of Robin still, uh, like I said earlier, uh, the first time I listened to this, I really had Robin winning both rounds. However, after seeing more performances, I've kind of reevaluated some of my initial judgments on uh, Frosty's first round. So now I, I, I could go either way. I, I think Robin's major negative, like I said, is the one dimensional nature of the track it doesn't change a whole lot it doesn't evolve a whole lot uh whereas frosties is almost constantly changing and evolving uh which keeps me more interested but i don't like calling out someone for a battle and then just moving on and acting like that's sufficient um i would have rather not had said anything at all then I wouldn't be taking away points. I would instead just be ignoring the fact. And Robin would still get points for his battle part at the beginning. And even the whole song like seems like it's a battle song. Saying he just plays his game, doesn't care if anyone hurts. I think that's what he's saying. He puts a bit of a... Uh, I don't know. He says it a bit differently. And I don't know if that's stylistic or just language. Like dialect differences since he's french i believe um but even if it was due to that's just how it's easier for him to say i actually like it a lot like anybody uts I, I can't do it quite right but it like i don't know it feels intentional it, it really matches with the flow of the song um the negatives for frosty being that weird middle part that i kind of talked about i still like i said don't know if it's actually bad or if I just have some weird adverse reaction to it, but it really put me off to the middle of his song. Um, as well as the fact I still kind of feel like 
his song didn't really even go to three minutes, whereas Robin's definitely at least made it to three minutes, if not a bit further. Uh, because of those reasons, I am giving it to Robin, but like I said, it's it's extremely close so far in the first round. Uh, let's see if my new perspective changes how I originally felt on the first round as much, or even more. Maybe it'll, sw it'll swap to Frosty. Uh, but that's enough talking. We'll go ahead and get things started, and I'll actually maximize the video this time for you guys. Round three, Frosty, switch! Damn, Robin. Mm. You've got Back a very, to the very battle stuff. Phone. I forgot this. I don't like that response. I, I don't know if it's like a dick joke, like where he's like, oh, Robin, you got a small one. Yeah, brag about how small it is. I'm going to make fun of it. The only other angle, which is probably more likely, is just the, like, why are you bragging about using one device? Like, it's not against the rules. It's not like you deserve more credit for only using one. So he's like, ooh, damn, you got a small bow. I don't really give a shit. So, either way, it still kind of lands flat for me. Again, I would have rather just not said anything at all, probably. Now, before we get into the drop, if anybody knows how he does this, please let me know in the comments. I, how does he go from this noise, then when he starts beatboxing, it turns into this, like, Castlevania 8-bit, freaking amazing sound. Like, how does that happen? Unless he pre-recorded it, and it always had that weird, like, bulbar change in it. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. That, uh, kick? Or bass? I can't tell, because I don't hear a kick, but I think it's the bass. So growling. I like this exit as well. I don't know what he's saying. If someone knows, leave it in the comments, because I'm interested if maybe this is some battle -y type lyrics, or if it's just a, the same lyrics from earlier. And that's very good. Time. So good. Round four. I can't imagine Robin. how that would Switch. be live. But. Massive respect to you, Frosty. This, I love who you are, and I'm gonna play violin just for you. This is like something else. I, I I went into this not liking Robin very much. I found him kind of boring, um, like a slight. It's so weird. I feel bad saying stuff, but like a slightly worse MB14. Not really comparable. They have different styles, but they're both very vocal focused loopers. Um, but this round, dude, this may be my favorite loop station performance ever. And I say performance because of what you're seeing. Like, this isn't just a loop station round. This is like a, a freaking movie trailer. This is, this is something different. 
I don't know, I don't even know what I would call this. I guess a music video would be the obvious one. But like, man, every time I hear this song, I just want to like, lay back, put my arms up, and take a look at it. But like, not an actual nap, because I want to hear it. thing I want to mention, I've seen some people comment, oh, did he pre-record this? That's not really good. I can't see it as much on my capture, but I can see the lights. Like, I can see the green and the red on the circles at the bottom, as well as the, like, edit buttons right above the stop buttons. My, in my experience, the RC505 does not do well with lights. But I'm going to shut up and let him take it away. that's it's something else man it's i love that round like it, it just there's so much thought put into everything he's playing violin i mean that that in and of itself sounds beautiful i don't know if i've ever heard another round that does that sound so that that in and of itself is beautiful and unique and something just great but beyond that the lyrics are about driving, um, looking around, being on a road, and he's doing that. But not only that, he's like on top of a car so that you can get perfect view of this scenery as it moves behind him. Like so much thought and care was put into this video and performance. And I just... I doubt anything comes close to that in this battle, like in all of the kickback. I don't, I don't see how anything comes to that level of just like epicness. Now, that all being said, Frosty's round was also at another level. Like, I don't want to discredit Frosty at all. I think so far... Frosty's second round and Robin's second round are on another level compared to the rest of the rounds I've listened to, which is why I'm kind of glad I'm able to react to this later instead of it being the first round so that I can actually kind of see if my initial reaction is holding up. When I first saw these, I genuinely was like, these these are going to be the best rounds. These they're, How are other people going to compete with this? And I, I definitely think the gap isn't as big as I initially thought it was going to be. Other contestants have also stepped up their game like crazy, but like these two rounds are just some of the best performances I've ever heard. Now, stylistically for me, like I said, I really like Robbins. 
I, I like the, the just the whole feeling, the whole vibe of the whole thing that kind of just covers you as you listen to it and get transported to where he is. Um, man, I really don't have negatives about either. The o- I mean, I guess the only negative I can think of for Frosties was, again, I didn't like his battle tech or battle response, whatever, rebuttal. It just didn't do anything for me. Um, But, like, his second round. So, like, I typically listen to, like, heavy music. So, like, what a lot of people would call screamo music. But bands like, well, the band I'm wearing right now is Beartooth, um, Silent Planet, bands like that. Uh, One of my favorite bands, I have their logo right there. Their name is La Dispute. Should check them out if you're uh, into lyrics, but also go into it expecting if you're not into screaming or whiny kind of vocals that you may be off put by them. But if you can get past that, I think they're beyond anyone else when it comes to the content of their lyrics. Silent Planet being a close second, but a lot of Silent Planet is... Uh, taking other people like reading philosophies and stuff like that so it's less their lyrics Um, but anyways I'm just trying to find my mouse it's hard to see on this white screen I don't want to waste too much time talking about that kind of stuff but Frosty's Round was very close to that feeling of like being in a mosh pit like I wanted to shove people around I wanted to jump up and down and lose my mind which I very rarely get from electronic music. Like when dubstep first came out, I lost my mind, got that feeling every time, just wanted to punch shit. But as it got overdone and I had heard the same drops over and over, I lost interest uh, in dubstep. I still like to hear it on occasion, but it's not something I'd listen to on a playlist or anything. Um, But Frosty's, I don't know, I wouldn't call that dubstep. Uh, definitely not. So I, I'm, I'm genres are bad for me. I've never really dug it, dove into the electronic genres of like EDM. So I, I don't really know the differences. Like I can most of the time pick out drum and bass. I'm getting better about drill, but I, I struggle to really pick stuff out. So let me know what each, what is round would be called. Um, But anyways, I don't want to spend too much more time talking about this. I'm not going to react to Mirsa and KBA, considering I just did that pretty recently. Um, So instead, we're just going to skip ahead to the judge results. I'm going to pause the video briefly so that I can get it to the right point. And when I come back, we'll be counting down to the actual results. All right, thanks for uh, sticking around. We're about to go, I guess for you that wasn't a pause. It was just instant, so it's weird to say thanks for sticking around. Anyways, um, so Rhythmine disconnected, but the three judges are Inky, Sorrow, and Rhythmine. I don't know why you can't see my mouths again. It should be visible, but um, because Rhythmine disconnected, Sinjo is stepping in to judge for Rhythmine. And then the numbers are, they're holding up a one for Frosty and a two for Robin. And we're going to go ahead and see how it goes. Okay. One, two, and two. So split decision, split decision. Robin, Robin wins. Robin moving on to the next round, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's wait. Sibyl. Sibyl. Uh, we can see their scores. Split decision. But we where have a split are, decision with where are Frosty's scores? For Frost. of a quarterfinal of the- huh. Okay. Well, we can see what they gave Robin, but I don't know what they gave uh, Frosty. But either way, uh, it kind of makes sense how the judging went. Rhythmine. Well, Sorrow, I would have expected to go to for, for Robin since Sorrow is a little old school. Uh, Inky definitely is more new school, more into the uh, darker themes, which is what Frosty definitely goes for. So I totally would expect him to vibe more with that. 
Uh, Rhythmind was the only judge I could see going either way, and he obviously went for Robin. I'd be interested to get more in details on why they went with the way they did, what the scoring actually equates to, but uh, it looks like they're going to go right into the next round. So I'm just going to skip ahead to um, right here, just some random spot, play it, and if it sounds like they're about to read KBA Mirsa, I'll play it. Otherwise, I might skip ahead a bit, and we'll see how that goes, see if I'm right uh, as a reminder. I have KBA in this one. So, so far I was right on Robin. Let's see uh, if KBA wins too. Once again, a one for Mirsa. One for a Mirsa. two for KBA. Two for Moving KBA. on to the next round. Kickback battle 2021. Arsenal with right. two. I say the three. Here we go. Y'all say the two and the one. Judges in three. Two, two, two. With that Dang. unanimous decision, give it up for That's KBA. That's a surprise. KBA. I mean, I know Mirsa, like from my perspective, had a lot of flaws in his round, but not Congratulations, like. Oh, KBA look, we can see the scores the this next time. Round. Dang, These, like Inky was super feeling KBA again. Makes sense. He's making more electronic sounding music. He has multiple devices. I know Inky's a fan of both of those things. Sorrow, I would have expected to go to Mirsa because again the old school kind of stuff um one device which sorrow also only used one device but maybe uh i i'm i'm inferring these things based off of a reaction i watched early on from shin and sazam which i hope i'm saying both of their names right since they're both kind of spelled a little weird um but and if you hear that I have a new USB hub and it keeps disconnecting and reconnecting things. So if you hear that, that's me. I'm sorry. I got to buy a new one and figure it out. Um, but yeah, so you can see KBA knocked out the second, uh, the second round or comp, whatever quarterfinal two, I guess would be the right way to call it. Um, so two for two so far for me, two for two. I'm, I'm basically a judge at this point. Why not hire Swiss beatbox? Reach out, hi hire me, leave a comment. I'll, I'll do it. Just hit me up any day. I'm, I'm pretty much an expert at this point. You know, can't really explain why I feel the ways I do, but I mean, the judges agree with me. So what can you say? I'm, I'm, I'm a prophet. Um, so yeah, just hit me up for consultation. Uh, since I'm on to this, I might as well go ahead and give you guys the rest of the results. Um, next, up will be uh, Josh O and MH. Josh O will win that. Uh, I will expect it to go 2 1 with either Rhythmind or Inky going for MH. I'm not sure which, but that's what I'm guessing. And then the final round, I haven't listened to it yet, so I can't unfortunately give that to you. But right now, just based off of the seeding rounds, I'm, I'm definitely leaning towards Kristoff, but I'm very excited to see what um psn pulls out um anyways don't want to take more of your time so if you've made it this far and are still watching please don't forget to like and subscribe uh let me know what to react to next until i get some reaction suggestions i'll probably wait until tuesday when the next rounds are started and out um otherwise if you f if someone leaves me something in the comments i'll try and get that up tomorrow if not wednesday to try and break up some of these uh, kickback battle loop station RC505 boss mark II reactions. Um, but yeah, as always, uh, make sure to also like and subscribe on the uh, original videos. Um, check out the everyone involved. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time and have a great rest of your day.